that all these possible ways you can move things around, they're not necessarily all active at once. It would be chaos, utter chaos, if they were all active at once. Um, you can shut some off. Um, you can run some at part speed or full speed or anything in between by the fact that these pathways have at least some regulatory enzymes in them, and you can control the flux through the pathway by upregulating or downregulating those enzymes. Regulation usually uh, happens at key branch points or at the beginning. So here is a theoretical pathway where you're starting with metabolite A and you're making these two products here, branching at intermediate D. So there's going to be two enzymes here, one that converts D to X and one converts D to E. These two enzymes would be, you would predict, would be regulatory enzymes, almost without fail. Just looking at the map, you say, well, that's a branch point. These two must be regulatory. This one in the middle probably isn't regulatory. It may or may not be. But at a branch point, the cell wants to be able to shut down this option and promote this one, or vice versa. So branch point enzymes are almost always regulated. Uh, this one, too, this A enzyme, would be subject to feedback in inhibition. Um, so it works like this. You have enough of this product as its concentration goes up. You, you're accumulating excess beyond what you need. The fact that it's building up, that product will come here and it will dock at what kind of site on this enzyme? Just to review enzyme regulation. Alexary. Alexary site, yeah. So, slow this down by uh, an allosteric feedback loop. Same thing can happen there. So you could consume, conceivably have enough of this product, but not of that. So this one gets shut 